Hello, I'm Andrew Lissim. Welcome back to Battlefield Gothic Armada 2 Imperial Campaign. We probably want to upgrade some of our worlds over here that are minor shipyard. I mean, it's an agri world, blech, but it is a minor shipyard, so we'll grab that. This one as well is also a minor shipyard. You're just a mining world. It's very tempting to go for you, though. But I want to save a little bit of money until next turn. Because next turn, we will be getting battleships, and I kind of want to buy a load of them. So we'll take the hit here, and I think we might even be able to punch back here instead of doing the one over in Bellis Corona. We were thinking about punching into here. I don't think it's going to hold. In fact, I'm pretty certain of that, so I'm actually going to pull you back to the Agrippina sector to repair, because you repair so much faster here. We'll also upgrade you to a minor shipyard. Minor shipyard. Um, anyone else who's a shipyard? Okay, done. That was a lot of our money, though. Didn't mean to spend that much, but we do need to upgrade our shipyard. So, with that said, let's end the turn. We've got a couple of fights coming in in Cadia. So, hi, Chaos. We have significantly more points versus you, and we've got fixed defenses. We'll lead with Gothic rather than the Ultramarines, because the Ultramarines are a bit damaged, I think. Now, we should be able to field most of our entire fleet here. There might be like one or two that we can't. But that's about it. And the entire concept for this is just sheer numbers, overwhelm, kill. Uh, I'm actually not wanting you in here. This Nova is way too badly damaged. One, two, three, four, five. Ready. Nova. Oh, I can't have you jump out immediately. Okay, go sit in this gas cloud. Ship ready. Brace for impact. Understood. And I will split the fleet and have you come this way. Moving On the basis the of... One of the things we found with Chaos is that they will go to a side of you and then circle you. If we can basically preemptively break that circle, we win. In fact, it looks like they're probably going to come down this way. So I'm gonna engaged. try and go the other way with the Imperials. Because I want the Imperials hitting them more head on. Well, that was quick. They just boarded and killed the crap. My fighters are really a little bit pointless now. No, 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 they're doing the same again. Fighters saved the day. They're splitting up already. That is an early split. I am listening. Gonna have you hold ground for a little bit. Don't wanna get you too close by yourself. We serve. Engaging engines. Show us the enemy. Right, we might well just use our boarding torpedoes on you. I know it's a Grand Cruiser. Underway. Hold advance. We lost the defense platform. I swear the augers on those defense platforms are terrible. Still can't jump. There we go. Heading acknowledged. Right. Boarding torpedoes. 
Plasma bomb. Retaliator class Grand Cruiser. Give us purpose. Standard speed engaged. Radiation wave. Oh joy. I enjoy those. Missed with the torpedo uh, with the plasma bomb. We wait your command. Enemy sighted. Boarding cause critical damage. All the disruption bomb. That's a good start. Where shall we strike? Enemy sighted. Engines engaged. Right, then boarding action time. Go, go, go. Got you down to yellow. We stand ready. Moving to position. Right. I Admiral. Setting course. We sir. Pretty sure you were here-ish. Enemy sighted. Nice. Good, good fires. Your orders. Initiate emergency repairs. And then ramp. Engaging engine. Basically gonna separate you off from the rest of the group. And then organ disruption bomb. There. Scuttle. I am listening. Your command. Hold course. Enemy sighted. We lost the defense platform. Yeah, okay, we're losing a lot of defense platforms. Ship ready. Engaging target. Right, go for the engine. We serve. Keep pushing this way. Drifting Hulk! Where should we strike? Right, we killed the Grand Cruiser quite nicely. For where we are needed. Underway. Next target. They're probably going to do a teleport to reboard it, but we can just prepare for that. Ready. Right, boost after them. All ahead full. Uh, you keep going this way. We're going to have to just keep going. Chase you down. Underway. Cruising speed set. Sure, yeah, go into the blast range. That's smart. Main batteries fire. Well done. That's a good job you've done there. Right, board you. Plasm bomb you. Just hold on. Hold on. You're going to be fine. We're going to have you redirect. We're going to try and protect that because that's a hundred worth Enemy of sighted. defenses. Course engaged. Give us purpose. Moving to position. Redirecting. Right, boost. Lightning Mutiny, great. Engines engaged. Maximum burn. Damage right, you chase after them. Now. Engaging engines. Here we go. Coordinates ah, you don't have my engine. Damn it.
Need scuttling. Eh. We serve. Cruising speed set. Okay. We board. Right, engine damaged. Great. Got to take out you two. Ship ready. All power to engines. Aye, Admiral. Understood. All servitors and tech marines begin repairs. Launch Thunderhawks. Just gotta kill you off. Oh. Boarding successful. That's a boarding torpedo. Did we aim that at you? I don't think we did. We stand ready. Launch Thunderhawks. We serve. Underway. Right. Aye, Admiral. Disruption bomb. Understood. Take down your shield. Heading acknowledged. Setting course. And no shield for you. And then torpedoes. Targeting enemy vessel. And that should just be the win there because the boarding is going to just crush that one troop remaining. Teams have crippled the enemy. There we go. That battle we knew we were going to win. It's the next one I'm worried about. Yeah! Battleships! Right. We outpoint them by 36, but that is defense platforms, which we know are pretty terrible against Necrons. So let's do the battle. Ramming lighter ships is a proven and efficient tactic. I would say ramming anything, but now we've met the orcs, that's not quite the case. Also, the planet suddenly got textured. Ta-da! It's Schrodinger's planet. The planet is and is not textured at the same time until you look at it. Plotting stealth approach. We're going to be all super stealthy and then immediately break stealth. Your command. Send our fighters out so we can recon them. My suspicion is because there's only two of them, one is going to be a battle cruiser. Standard speed engaged. I know there is three. Four. Lot of escorts. Enemy in sight. Light cruiser. Enemy in sight. Plane cruiser. And murdered my fighters. I hate you. Show us the enemy. Right, keep an eye on you with our fighters. Stand ready. Standard speed engaged. Right, let's get ready with those torpedoes. Standard 
taking heavy damage. Wait, the fight is backed away? Now, now my torpedoes aren't going to be locked. Oh, you're the worst. Repositioning. Successful teleport strike. Teleport. It is the teleport. The way they pronounce it is, is so interesting. It's a teleport. That is impossible. Have you considered teleporting? Uh, we use that to kill you off. For where we are needed. Launch Thunderhawks! We can't take much more! Standard speed engaged. Drifting Hulk. Hold course. Moving to position. We stand ready. All power to engine. Standard speed engaged. Now, definitely going to try and get this one right. Ah, missed you. I, I find it amusing that I said, I'm going to get this one right, and then immediately missed. It's the little things in life. Five, four, three, two, one. Morning torpedoes. Feel our might. Boarding successful. And that is the win. Yeah. Necrons, don't mess with space marines. It never goes well for you. Now, there's actually a light cruiser over here. These Necron light cruisers, I find, are incredibly good at actually just completely getting away from you. Engines engaged. Repositioning. Right. Enemy in sight. Underway. Boarding torpedoes. Boarding craft. Honor of the chapter. The that torpedoes are going round and round. At your command. Drifting Hulk! That's the win. Okay, that was a bit easier than I thought. It's just Space Rooms versus Necrons, right? It's the boarding is so powerful. Also, does the background like chanting just say <laughs> Sometimes. Ah, I was just about to do it. That's what it sounds like to me. Okay, no new assault. Good. Please, no new assault. Okay, that's a Necron Assault. Ah, 
Hi there. I'm going to auto battle it. It's probably a mistake. Ah, uh, we lost a Gothic class cruiser. We lost an entire leader. Well, that's just ridiculous. It was a light cruiser, admittedly. This is why we don't auto battle. Yes, we can get battleships! Command capacity plus one on the Imperials. Oh no, that's plus one on the Adeptus, uh, Adeptus Astartes. Fleet capacity goes up. Leadership value goes up. For single battle, we can have like one and a half fleets. Upgrade points. Yes, thank you. Why are you still locked? Have we not unlocked this? I think we've I think we've unlocked this. Oh no, it, it must be that I haven't upgraded the world fully. Let's go check. There we go. Increase the ship speed by 25% applies to all ships. So good. Right, there is an assault coming in two turns here. It's Necrons. We're going to be in a bit of a problem now because I was planning to have, like, all my ships. Uh, I guess we can probably recruit someone. Micro warp and a stasis bomb. Yeah, sure. Then... You two come down here. Your job's going to be sit here and defend against this. When it comes in two turns, that's two turns time. That's for future us. Uh, we won't be able to have like a, a space station or anything. This place is pretty locked down. Checking on Acadia. We took those fights. Was there another fight? Yeah, four turns, orcs. That's four turns and it's orcs. And there is a space station here. We could just send Brax. One, two, three. Have Brax help defend. It's four turns and we have to recruit another Astartes. We could just recruit an Astartes here. Ah. Oh. You're pretty terrible. Oh, identification range of the ships increased by... Of the ship. Applies to fleets. Okay, that's actually not that bad. We'll get you. And then your job is to just boost up. To be ready to take that down. Okay. Where do we need the forces that were there? Not here right now. I will want to send an extra one to Bellas Corona. And in Agrippina, one turn until we're facing an enemy there. Two turns until an enemy there. I think we might send you... Actually, if we're about to unlock a new area, we should just get ready. So we'll get you there. I'm not sure. I think it might unlock off of Cantrell or something. That looks like... It looks like where I'd put a connection, right? Cantrell. Like it's obvious. It's in a corner. Maybe Belisar, but more Cantrell. Possibly uh, Vorga Talk as well.
Might actually just leave you here for now. Let's go have a look at some of the other stuff. Agrippina. That's in three turns. We can deal with that in three turns. That's in one turn. We're dealing with that. That's in two turns. We could probably deal with that. We'll have to see. However, with 300 points to spend. If we chuck the Firestorm, we can get anything but the Emperor, which is a shame because I was actually considering the Emperor. Yeah, I guess you're a bit... I think you're a bit overpriced anyway, the Emperor. Uh, Apocalypse. Heavy macro turret. Load of lances and an overcannon. I mean, the overcannon's good. You're slow. The only reason I want a battleship, by the way, for the Imperials is because I kind of feel that Spire needs a battleship. Personally, I think the battleships are a bit overpriced. They are slow. Compare that to the Grand Cruisers, which have the same speed as a cruiser. I think the Grand Cruiser is a better bang for your buck. Battleships, they're just, I think, a bit overpriced. Uh, we could go Retribution. Go all the way with those Plasma Cannons. Uh, you have 60 damage per each. You've got 6. So you're looking at 360 damage. Plus Torpedoes on the front. Compare that with the Apocalypse. Which is 6 Lances. Each one does 24. But... They're 100% accurate, and they treat enemy armor as always 50. So they have a 25% chance, or something like that. I can't remember what the exact stat is. But only 9,000 range. Whereas if we look at the retribution, the range of that is going to be 18,000. More accurate at, you know, 13 and a half. Then there's the Oberon, which is kind of a cross between everything. It's got a couple launch bays. It's got two super heavy lance... Ooh, Really? That's super heavy? Oh, the range is higher. Okay, 18,000 range on it. And heavy plasma macro, okay. And that's just plasma macro, so this is actually 18 as opposed to 15 damage. So it's in the region of 75 damage. You've got two of them, that's 150 damage. Plus each of these, which is roughly 100 damage in total. So we're talking 250 damage, plus the three macro weapon turrets on top, plus the two launch bays. I'm kind of liking the Oberon. I don't think it's the Emperor. I think the Emperor is probably the wrong choice here. It's very pricey, and we can't fit it in without chucking more stuff. The Retribution has a torpedo launcher, but battleships are kind of difficult to turn around and slow. Getting a torpedo launcher on target is going to be tough. The Apocalypse, definitely an option. Nova Cannon on something so slow, going to be at the back, also a good option. The Oberon. I think it's the Oberon. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Uh, you are... Alex Fitchty, you're going to be the unyielding Fitchty. And we're going to make you the flagship. Uh, wait, what? Did I click the wrong button or something? Maybe? Okay. Uh, you have a little bit of room. How much is the endurance worth? If we get rid of the endurance, we'd get 105 more space. That would give us enough for... 
159, that's not a cruiser. We could upgrade the Endurance to a Dauntless or something. I'm not sure about getting rid of it, though. I mean, I don't like the Endurances because they're so slow. That's the issue. But now we also have a battleship that's going to be going with us all the time. Maybe it's right. We'll just grab something like a Firestorm for now. And this is sort of Acre. Uh, it's actually going to be sort of Moan. And I think we send them in to Bellas Corona to do the mission there. The actual story mission. Because we've let this tracker get up pretty high. And we're getting attacked enough right now that... I'm not keen to get attacked this much. Oh, we've got Necron second here in three turns. Yeah, we'll need an extra fleet down here. Okay, we'll invest that last click in, I think it's going to be the mining world here. In Chincha. Yeah. 52 income. It's just oh, it's so good. Uh, right. In that case, I think we're ready to go and do the next mission in the sequence, which is going to be this. Response to a Mayday, Champion of the Death Guard, Vusius, Defeat the Servants of Nurgle. Okay, sure. I do wish it told you a rough enemy strength, because otherwise you can walk into battles and lose without knowing. I really do think that should be a, a thing that's kind of ingrained there. For now, though, I think we will end the episode, and that's going to have to be next time. Next time, we face Nurgle at Bellis Corona. Can we defeat Nurgle? Eh, who knows? It's maybe possible. Also, in Chincha, I did actually intend to do a counterattack into Esola Bay, and I've kind of screwed that up. Whoops. Actually, no, you were too badly damaged to do it. Yeah, that makes sense. Either way, for now, I've been at Rilisium. Like, subscribe, and until next time... Stay shiny.